Hello guys and welcome to another video. We have a few exciting free updates for Divine Cut and we're going to get right into them. First up we have fur. You can now add fur to your cloth. Simply click on the cloth and press add fur. If you want fur on specific portions of the cloth, select those vertices in edit mode and then press add fur. There are three presets, forks, bubbles and wool. You can tweak any of the settings in the menu such as thickness, count and more. It all updates in real time. Chains and necklaces. We now have chains and necklaces that you can simulate. There's a new chains pack it works with, but you can also make your own chains and necklaces very easily. To use the chain and necklace accessories, drag them onto your character, press divine accessory, then select the chain and press start accessory physics. You can have your own custom made accessories as well, it's very very simple. Any object with a curve modifier can be given divine physics. Simply select the object or the curve and press start accessory physics. After you press start accessory physics, press Ctrl A and drag to scale up the cage. You can press Ctrl A then X or Y to scale it in either direction, just so it covers the chain. When you are satisfied with the cage, press finish accessory physics. The accessory will then drop onto your character. If it falls through, simply select the character or object and press toggle collision. The cage comes with pinning, so you can select it and enter weight paint mode to paint where you would like to pin onto your character. It supports partial pinning, so if you want an area pinned but not completely stiff, you can paint a lighter weight on that area. Frills. You can now add frills to your clothes. Simply select the loop in edit mode or the line of vertices and press new frill. Then scale and position the new loop it forms and then press finish frill. You can increase the subdivisions in the subdivision modifier for more frill detail. Play with settings such as weight, etc. You can make multiple frills and join them together, just remember to press bind when done so they bind onto your cloth. Divine Print Divine Print still works great and got a minor update. Instead of always setting the print object as a cloth object, you can now select the image plane, shift select the object and then press spray. Divine Print lets you stamp images onto clothes and objects. See full tutorial here or in description. Cloth to Keys Cloth to Keys is a function that lets you convert your cloth simulation to shape keys. This way you can actually edit the simulation and remove any little glitches. You can add new shape keys and animate them manually. You can export it for game engines, AR and more. You can also adjust the speed of the simulation since we now have everything as keyframes. The original simulation is still safe if you want to change it. Simply delete all shape keys and then re-enable the cloth modifier and you'll get your cloth simulation back. So, those are the major recent updates for Divine Cut. There are some amazing add-ons I've linked below that I always use in my workflow and work great with Divine Cut. Flower has dropped another incredible add-on called Simply Fast, which has amazing materials, and there's a 30% off coupon for Simply Material, all in the description. Thank you so much, and that's been it. I'll see you guys later. Safe.